Dino Riders. Welcome back to another Legendary Garage Sale Find video. If this is your first time watching. I go out and hunt for the truly legendary items at garage sales and estate sales for resale and for the personal collection. And today we have what is by far my favorite pickup. So two weeks ago, I was riding high. I had sold the $1 box of Pokemon cards I picked up to a local collector for $350. Two days later, I was chatting with a guy who was supposed to have a comic book garage sale. So when the topic shifted over to vintage toys, they asked what lines I look for. I generally reply, I'm looking for the most obscure lines from the 80s, namely Battle Beasts and Dino, Dino Riders, which he said he had. I couldn't believe it, so he sent me a pictures and my jaw dropped. So I drove an hour to pick these up, but it was so worth it. So I'm gonna go over that epic haul with you and a truly legendary GameCube game haul. So let's take a look. So here are the Dino Rider boxes that I picked up in this truly legendary find. The guy sent me a picture of this box to show me that he had Dino Riders and I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I hadn't seen these things in decades especially in this condition. Now they aren't in the best shape. Unfortunately, the T-Rex box is the one in the worst shape. It is in about four pieces right now, and I'm really considering doing some restoration on it because I have never seen this box before. Um, I had these two sets growing up. I think I still have pieces of this guy somewhere because my parents were really good to me and they got me a couple of these sets. But we never saw the Dino Rider T-Rex in my stores in my little town. So seeing this box for the first time just a few weeks ago was truly epic. Now, I'm really considering a restoration of this box, just figuring out the best way to do it. But I'm going to pick up the flap here. I have to be careful because the box will fall apart. To show you what most kids who remember this line, it featured... And the inside flap it was the set and everything that it included brings back a lot of memories now the ankylosaurus box is in pretty good shape it still has plastic there but it is kind of squished like somebody stepped on it but the box in the best shape is this one the monoclonius all its edges are really good and there's the flap right there now, the only box that's not complete is the Taurosaurus. Its side panel is missing here. But it is still a treat to see these boxes in such great condition, considering they're 30 plus years old. And now we're going to get to what was in all these things. So here it is laid out, everybody. If you're a fan of this line, you can immediately tell that I have more armor pieces then I have boxes. So here in the corner we have the T-Rex armor. It is more or less complete. Of course, I've just been seeing the dino. Here we have the Triceratops pieces. In the back, we have the Diplodocus pieces, the Taurosaurus, and the Monoclonius, and the Ankylosaurus. There are a few other indications that there was one of the flying ones and one of the... Uh, Raptor Diclonius ones here and I got about 10 of the figures with an assortment of different weapons and stuff so they're not in the best shape those of y'all who remember this toy line going way back remember that it was probably one of the most fragile toy lines that's why it didn't last too long in our toy boxes because they would often break the little tabs you can see right here they would often break off that hold the little laser rifles in place. Now, I, I counted at least one that is broken off on the T-Rex. I think it broke off on this cannon right there. You might see it inside there. And one of the big cannons on that one kind of broke off. Other than that, it is all there. I'm not sure how much it hurts the value of it, but I have seen sold comps on just the this armor complete for over $300. So, I don't know how much of the Diplodocus I have here because that was one of the other big sets. But um, I'm hoping that I will get a call from the guy who I picked this up saying that he found more dinos in the attic where he picked these up. So hopefully I can make these complete one day. Because given that this set was 
this armor set was 300 and just the box sets of these are 50 on up that's a pretty good investment here i have about 375 in this lot uh it's total value i couldn't say because there's just a big assortment i am not too knowledgeable about every little red piece but um there's a little indication here these right here are the battery compartments for two of the dinos I want to say it's probably the Taurosaurus and the T-Rex, but those in the, in the uh, comments can let me know what exactly those pieces could be. But if you have a good idea how much this lot might be worth, let me know. One interesting thing here, here we have a bagged unused weapons kit, or two of them, and I haven't been able to find a soul comp for that, so a lot of value here. And I am, again, super excited to pick these up. I haven't seen this many Dino Riders together in a very, very long time. <laughs> so, one of the, my best finds ever, a uh, toy line that I've never, ever seen in this mass quantity before. I'm really happy I picked it up. Now let's take a look at the video game haul. Okay, everybody, so here are the GameCube games I picked up at this truly legendary pickup. I had a really great time at this sale. Really nice lady who brought out all these vintage games when I mentioned that's what I hunted for. Um, I had to come back to this sale a couple times because at first I couldn't find them. And then I needed more money after we worked out a deal. Because I originally threw an offer out of 200 for this lot. And she asked if I could do 300 I was a little leery, but given that I know the Mario Parties can go for at least 50 a piece, the 4 and 7 are complete. I decided to take a gamble. It wasn't until I left that I found out that the Def Jam complete is worth over $200. So looking at a pretty good profit all in all. Now, although these aren't the best sealed games, Odama, the BMX2, and the NBA Live 06 are all sealed. I have never seen sealed GameCube games ever. Uh, it's been a long time, but they might go for about 20, 30 a piece. Aldama might go for at least 40 to 50. So all in all, I think I'm looking at somewhere between eight and possibly nine on the high end in total sales if I sell every single game. I'm about to list these locally first to see if I can bypass the whole shipping and seller's fee. And I'll keep you guys updated, but I hope to do a lot more business with this lady because she said she had some more games and I'm really looking forward to seeing what else she has in her collection because it might be a key to some of the grails I'm looking for for my video game collection. But there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed these two amazing pickups. And if you like this content, please like and leave a comment. And if you want to come back and check out more content, please subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.